Well, anytime you're bass fishing with a presentation that has a leader of some sort, whether it's a drop shot or a Carolina rig, there's always a lot of discussion on leader length and when to use a certain length leader. Well, today I wanted to do some experiments with leader length on a Carolina rig. Now, we know when you're fishing a good hard bottom, a good rocky structure type of a system, you've got all kinds of room for leader length. That short leader, long leader is gonna work great in a rocky situation. But what about so many anglers that are fishing lakes and ponds and some rivers that you've got a variety of bottom compositions. You may have that hard structure, but then you also have a lot of silt or short vegetation, muck, other types of stuff. So I found an area on my lake that had two extremes here. Okay, we had some super soft silt, and then we also had a whole pile of dead and dying chara grass that gets just really thick and hard to fish. So I tested two different leader lengths. I had one that was about 18 inches long, and then I had one that was probably six to seven feet long. And I started off with the shorter leader, and when you're fishing it in the super silty bottom, just a disaster. It just clouds things up. The weight, of course, is down in the silt, but even my Texas rigged craw back here, you know, just buries up in the silt so much of the time on that short leader, and I just can't see any bass finding that attractive whatsoever. When I took that short leader and moved it over to the dying vegetation, okay, as we would expect, that weight is really hard to pull through that stuff. But that doesn't really matter. What matters is what is that bait doing on the back side of it? Doesn't work so good. But when I switched to the longer leader, first of all, in the silt, we still had kind of the same stuff going on. Once in a while, that crawl would stay above that really soft silt. But when I got to the vegetation, this is where it was just super interesting to observe. That really long leader, that six foot leader, floated up enough with this light wire offset hook. Okay, when I would pull it, it would snap it up off the bottom just enough that it would settle down then slowly and sit up on top of this vegetation. So the weight was buried up, you know, a lot of work for an angler to pull it through there, but you can be confident that most of the time your lure behind it is going to be seen and visible to the bass and stay above that vegetation. Now there are lots of situations then where this longer Carolina rig leader can apply. If you're fishing anything that is not a rocky and a hard type of a structure, I'd put a longer leader on there when you're trying to keep that lure up and above the bottom the best that you can. And as an angler, it feels like because of that weight, we're just getting stuck in stuff all the time, right? But now you can fish with confidence knowing that that lure is back there doing what it's still supposed to be doing most of the time. But the real key was that light wire hook. I didn't weigh it down too much. And this is often a situation where I'll use a monofilament leader as well, because I get that little bit more buoyancy out of it. And speaking of some challenging fishing situations, if you want to watch a video that talks about the type of structure I look for when it's super difficult out, go ahead and watch this one right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For The Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.